now we have created a matrix okay looks something like this now what we are going to do is create a pivot table so pivot table is nothing but like something like a dynamic matrix so now we want to be able to choose these options ourselves whether we want to view the data across the categories or across uh, calendar years on the vertical axis or if there is some other category by months or whatever if you want to view data by different categories then i should be able to specify them uh, by giving a value to my parameter of the report okay so let's go back to dynamic matrix and now let's work with a different data set so now we are going to create a dynamic matrix in which the user will have an option to see which attribute he wants to see across the vertical axis and across the horizontal axis so you'll have the user will get the option to input values into the parameters and based on those values the data would be displayed so now we have a data set and we have got some data just like the sales amount and the product cost and then we have got the three attributes along which we can uh, distribute this data so we have something called the age group so this is the customer information we have the age group of the customer then we have the country region name or the country of the customer and the yearly income of the customer so we can group this data we can view the data by the yearly income and the age group we can we should have an option to view the data by the country and the age group as well so this should be dynamic for the user so what we want to do now is first go to the report items and bring the matrix report item so just drag and drop it over here okay and now i have my rows and columns and data and all that that i want to uh, i can add my information upon so if it would have been a simple matrix what we could have done is just added a let's say age group and the country name and let's say the sales amount and if we would have previewed we would have seen all that data so this is my age group 100s 30s 40s and so on and these are my various countries for which i have all this data now i want this to be dynamic i want to be able to choose myself whether i want to display the data on the vertical axis for the age group or for the country or for the yearly income and same for the columns across the horizontal axis whether i want to display the information for the age group for the country or for the yearly income so what now we can do is we can create some parameters so the first step is to go and create the parameters in which the user can enter the values so go to the parameters right click do an add parameter and now we are going to display this to the user so we are going to choose the meaningful name for ourselves so this is going to be param and this is going to be uh, let's say row group and the prompt we will give to the user is row group the data type would be text because he would have an option to select either the yearly income the country or the age group this is going to be visible to the user because he should be able to enter the values so the next thing we are going to do is going to go to the available values tab over here and select the specify values option okay and then click on the add over here and add a label that the viewer that the user would be able to see so the first option that we want to give to the user is the age group so age group and now you have to add a value over here so the value that you would be adding should be the exact field name as is displayed in the data set because the code the is reporting services will be picking it the column name by checking it along the data set field so it has to be the exact name so you have to give it age group as it appears in your field name now we are going to add another attribute and this is going to be called the yearly income 
and the value would be as it appears in your data set field. So yearly income. Now add another label, and this is going to be my country, and the field is going to be called the English country region name as it appears in my data set. Okay. Now the same thing we are going to do for the columns as well. So go to the parameters, add a parameter, and this will be called the um, column group. And the user will be able to see the prompt as column group. The data type would be text. This would be visible to the user. Let's go back to the available values, specify values, and add the same set of values. So the first one is going to be your age group, and the value is going to be age group. Then add, and this is going to be yearly income, and the value is going to be yearly income, and add country, and the value is going to be English country region name. So say okay. Okay. So now I have these two parameters created based on which I can pass the value. So if I do a preview now, I can see these parameters. I can select something from them. Won't have an impact because we haven't yet applied anything to our report. So go back to the design view. And now I want to make this row and columns as dynamic based on the values that are selected in the parameters. So what I want to do now is select this particular column, right click, go to expression, and this is the expression that you'll be having. Now what we're going to do is remove this column name and use a different format of the fields function to be able to input the value of the parameter, which is put two brackets, okay? And then click inside and select the parameters. So this is going to be my row group. And this is how you will write this function. So just the, the value of the parameter within brackets uh, and field function and dot value. So this is the way you will write it, okay? And say, okay. Now the same thing I want to do for this, and this is going to be the column group. The only difference is going to be column group. So right click, go to expression, Okay, and in the fields, just change the format, put a bracket, and if you put just a single bracket, it will prompt you with the format that it expects for this function. So we are going to insert the parameter name. It's going to be a column group over here, dot value, dot value, and say okay. Okay. Now, same thing we want to do for this column heading as well. So let's select this column. Right click, expression, and we are going to put the value of the parameter. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's do a preview before we go any further. Let's say country, let's say each group, and Europe. Let's do a little bit of formatting over here first. So this is, these are my row headers. Let's make them bold and make it yellow over here. 
Um, let's select this, make it roll again, and make it green over here, and do a preview. Country and age group and your report. 